the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you EFCC detains Emifile after DSS free ex CBN governor. Next after this, we have the Supreme Court now has lowest number of justice in history. But before I proceed, welcome to Reality Letters GC, your home of news and politics. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. If this is your first time of watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out on our trending and latest news happening on social media. You can send in your comments and also keep the conversation lively in our comment section. To all our amazing returning subscribers, thank you so much for staying tuned. To all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy and stay tuned. On the news, former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefile, is currently being detained in the custody of the Economy and Financial Crime Commissions. It is confirmed that Emifile, who is currently being interrogated at the national headquarters of the anti graft agency, Jabil Abuja, was picked up by EFCC operative Thursday night, less than an hour after he regained his freedom from the dungeon of the Department of State Services. An impeccable source revealed the development to our correspondent Friday morning, noting that EFCC is probing Emifile over alleged impropriety during his term as the head of the apex bank correspondent further gathered that fresh charges may be fired against emifili by the efcc meanwhile the spokesperson for the efcc dele oyewale could not be reached for official confirmation when contacted by our correspondent on friday it was reported that Emifile had been in the custody of the Department of State Services since June after President Bola Tinubu suspended him from office. He was there after asked to hand over his responsibilities to Fashodu Oshunobi, the then Deputy Governor, Operation Directorate at the Apex Bank. A day after, the DSS announced that Emifile was in its custody for some investigations reasons. On July 25th, he was arraigned on a two-count charge bordering on illegal possession of firm arms at the Federal High Court in Lagos and was granted bail in the sum of $20 million. The two-court charge was later struck out on August 17 after the federal government withdrew the scene. However, a fresh 20-count charge was instituted against him over an alleged conspiracy to carry out procurement fraud, among others. The arraignment has been stalked twice, and Emifile was reported to have proposed a plea bargain agreement with the federal government. The proposed agreement required Emifile to resign as CBN governor and disgorge some assets however on september 22 the cbn officially confirmed emifili's resignation after olayemi kadoso was appointed as substantive governor of the apex bank so guys i would like to know your thoughts your contributions and your opinion towards this issue in our comment section let's keep the conversation lively in the comment section moving on to the next one we have the Chief Justice, Justice Olukayode Ariwola, on Friday said the Supreme Court now has 10 justices on its bench. According to him, with 10 justices on the bench, the Supreme Court has the lowest number of the justices in history. The CGN spoke at the valedictory court section for Justice Musa that Ijo, who attained the mandatory retirement age of 70 years. The CGN, however, assured that efforts are on top gear to elevate a sizable justice to the bench of the court. He said, with Justice Musa that Ijo leaving us today after the retirement of Justice Adamu, a few weeks ago, we are now left with just 10 justices on the Supreme Court bench, being the lowest we have ever had in the contemporary history of the courts. However, he said he confidently assured all the letty grant public that efforts are in top gear to get on board a sizable number of justices to boost their rank and complement the tremendous efforts they have been investing in the business of the court. Describe Musa Datijo as a model of excellency that transcends the legal professions. Said my Lord Justice Musa Datijo Muhammad, in whom's honor they assemble here today, is an epitome of jurisprudential yes, an insuperable lion with an irrepressible voice in the temple of justice. 
He said, we are here to identify with an accomplished jurisprudential iconoclast that has offered the best of his intellect to the advancement of the legal profession through his several years of unblemished and incontrovertible adjudication at different levels of courts in Nigeria. Slowship has, by all standards, made an incisive inroad into the reverend history books of the Nigeria judiciary as that gallant and eminent justice at the Supreme Court's bench, who invaluably had sworn in this discharge of his judiciary functions. As second in command in the hierarchy of the Supreme Court, he said, my lord, Justice Musa, skillfully aided and supported him virtually in every space of administration. He is a specimen of hard work, industry, discipline, and high moral rectitude. Musa willingly offered every support and encouragement that any leader would always wish to enjoy from a deputy to effectively meander the often stormy coast of court's administration. So by this event, adding his 70th birthday anniversary, the time has come to cease from functioning as judiciary officer. Immediately after his court section, a new page will untimely open in the life of our lord which his lordship an entire different set of people that destiny had already assembled along part of the second phase of his life we begin to write on he's indeed a jewel of estimable worth and an icon worthy of celebration and adulation his lordship is one judicial officer that could be blunt even to a fault and he's never known to be afraid to say things the way they are and also never shies away from calling a spade by its name irrespective of whose oct is god through his mean and conduct his lordship has succeeded in erecting an edifice of hope and optimism in the minds of his timmy admirers and even generation yet unborn who will be privileged to assess and behold his great works in the judiciary landscape that have already been well documented and displayed conspicuously in the shelves of various libraries across the world honestly his name will always be remembered so guys let me know your thoughts your contributions your opinions are in the comment section i would love to hear from you and if you have not subscribed to our youtube page yet please do us a favor to subscribe and also the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our video once again thank you all so much for joining us on today's news and this note we have come to the end of today's segment till i come your way next stay safe guys bye